Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the bind rows and bind pulse functions of the deep layer package in R. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples rely on the data frames that we can create in lines 2 to 7 of our code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio three new data objects appear. And uh, in the following video, I'm going to show you how to combine these data frames with the bind rows and bind calls functions. In order to apply these functions, we need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in line 9 and 10. Um, I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 10 of the code. So after running this line of code, you will be able to use the bind rows and the bind calls functions. Now in line 12 of this code, you can see how to apply the bind rows function. So within the bind rows function, you simply have to specify the data frames that you want to combine. So in this case, we are going to combine the data frames data one and data two. And uh, then you also need to separate these data frames within the function with a comma. So if you run this line of code, you can see that the two data frames are merged by the rows of the data frames. And uh, what you also can see is that uh, here you have several and A values. And this is because um, only the column X1 is existing in both data frames. So you have it here in uh, data frame 2 and also in data frame 1. But the column X2 is only existing in data frame 1 and the column X3 is only existing in data frame 2. And for that reason, the bind rows function is assigning an A values um, whenever a variable is not existing in all of the input data frames. Yeah, so in the next example, I want to show you how to apply the bind calls function, as you can see in line 14 of the code. And in this example, I'm going to column bind the data frames data one and data three. So if you run this line of code, then you can see that a new data frame appears here at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this data frame contains four columns whereby the columns X1 and X2 were um, in the original data frame data 1 and the columns X3 and X4 are coming from the data frame data 3. Yeah, so this is basically how to apply the bind rows and bind calls functions of the deep layer package. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the application of these two functions in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications whenever I'm releasing new videos. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.